We're turning now to the guilty verdict in a more than 25-year-old murder case involving Kristen Smart, a California college student who disappeared back in 1996. Her former classmate has been convicted of first-degree murder. Mona Kosar Abdi is in Salinas, California with the details on all of that. Good morning, Mona. Amy, good morning. Kristen Smart was only 19 years old when she disappeared, last seen with that student, Paul Flores. And in court, prosecutors painted Flores as a sexual predator who continued to prey on women in the 26 years since her murder. This morning, the California murder case that made national headlines for decades finally coming to an end. We are grateful and appreciate the diligence and energy of the two juries to thoroughly review the facts and reach their decisions. The father-son duo charged with the murder of Kristen Smart 26 years after her disappearance. A jury found 45-year-old Paul Flores guilty of her murder, but his father, Ruben Flores, was found not guilty of helping dispose of her body. There's not a lot of joy in a way because Kristen's body has still not been discovered. So there's, you know, it's, it's bittersweet. Kristen, a 19-year-old college student, vanished in 1996, last seen on her way home from a party at Cal Poly with Paul Flores, a fellow classmate at the time. Authorities say Flores killed Smart in his dorm room during an attempted rape on May 25th of that year. Smart, prosecutors said, seemed highly intoxicated, alleging that her behavior was consistent with someone who had been drugged. And Flores was the last person seen with her. He was later questioned about Smart's disappearance, but charges were not filed against him at the time. It wasn't until 23 years later when a podcast devoted to Smart's story called Your Own Backyard reignited public interest in the case that the spotlight once again turned to Flores. Authorities acknowledged missteps by detectives over the years and credited the podcast's creator, Chris Lambert, in helping with the case. His podcast helped to identify additional new witnesses and the collection of important evidence that was critical in the prosecution of this case. In the trial, prosecutors presented evidence, including soil samples, that they said showed Smart's body might have been buried under the elder Flores' deck. Prosecutors called witnesses who portrayed Paul Flores as a predator who demonstrated a pattern of drugging and sexually assaulting women in the L.A. area, even after he was a suspect in the Smart investigation. The father and son were long considered suspects, but weren't arrested until last year. Ruben Flores continues standing by his son. I feel bad for him because I didn't get no answers. About what happened. There is no evidence against anybody, me or Paul. Although Kristen's body has never been found, the Smart family remains committed to finding their daughter. Without Kristen, there is no joy or happiness in this verdict. After 26 years with today's split verdicts, we learned that our quest for justice for Kristen will continue. And Paul Flores is looking at a possible life sentence. The San Luis Obispo Sheriff says that the search for Kristen will continue so that one day her family may give her a proper burial, Robin. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you so much. And we continue to think of the Smart family. Thank you for your reporting. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.